when people say, well, what about the kids? My response is, the kids, the teenagers, are the last people you have to worry about because they are the ones who have the best access to marijuana. I think even in Norway it's true, right? I mean, in high schools, right? So in my country, for the last, every, there's a poll which always asks teenagers, you know, how easy it is to get marijuana. And routinely, 75 to 80 percent of teenagers say it is easy to get marijuana, right? Even as marijuana use has gone up and down and up and down, roughly 80 percent of 17-year-olds say it's easy to get. More recently, there have been three surveys which ask teenagers which is easier to buy, marijuana or alcohol. And three surveys say teenagers say it's easier to buy marijuana than it is to buy alcohol because there's active networks in almost every high school you know, in the country, which is alcohol. Now, it's easier to get alcohol, because you get it from your parents' liquor cabinet or what have you, but it's easier to buy marijuana. So I don't think teenagers is the group that's going to be using much more marijuana if we legalize it for adults. I think the people who will be using more marijuana will be people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Because those are the people who don't have as good access, who are a little bit discouraged by the criminal prohibition. And, you know, I mean, what, I think, quite frankly, you know, people in their 70s, 80s, and 90s will start to realize that marijuana is maybe a little good for their arthritis, and it helps with the aches and pains, and uh, maybe they don't need to take so much pharmaceuticals, and so I actually can see elderly people becoming a bigger market for cannabis. Um, but I don't think the youngsters are going to be the ones. I want to, on, on the gateway um, issue and, and the question of what to tell the kids. And by kids, I mean teenage all the way to, to uh, into, into 20s. I think that the gateway argument that certainly we tried in the United States with Nancy Reagan's, which was very much part of Nancy Reagan's just say no, it's a gateway, and if you start with heroin, then uh, if you start with marijuana, then you know three weeks later you'll be strung out on heroin. That one argument has made teenagers more cynical about what they hear from adults than any of the ar other arguments. Because they see for themselves, <clears throat> that doesn't happen. They knew plenty of people, including their parents, who tried marijuana, used it a little bit, and they didn't go on to, they don't even know anyone who tried marijuana who went on to heroin. So they figured, this message, this is, this has got to be BS, and that, and I think we, I think we lost the kids on that.